Okay, now we are going to use Blender. We are going to work with Blender. And we have the cube already. We already have the cube. And now we are going to add text. Uh, in the last uh, software, AutoCAD, uh, I told you that uh, AutoCAD is with the software that I'm working with. I'm working. Okay, now we are going to use Blender to add text to this to this cube, to this object. Um, I told you that AutoCAD that uh, is the server that I'm that I'm used. But why is why I think it's the more it's the server that. <coughs> you can add the uh, oh. okay. Now we are going to work with Blender, and we are going to add text to this cube. How we are going to do to, to do this? This is a very simple software. Okay, there are a lot of options, but you just need to focus in two options. Uh, First of all, the view, the, the viewers, uh, we are going to look at right here. We have uh, the perspective of camera. If we select uh, left, obviously, turn left, right, back, front, bottom, top, and camera. You can um, activate different kind of cameras, but for now we are going to use the top section, and we. But this is not a uh, two planner perspective. We need to uh, activate right here perspective or top. Now we have two planner perspective and we don't have deep deepness. And this is my cursor, and this is the peak point. To all my objects are going to be created the origin, and now we have to create a text. And simply, we just need to go to edit mode and write the text. We go into object mode and there is the text. We are going to scale this. Uh, yeah, it's more uniform like AutoCAD. Personally, Blender, uh, it's on another uh, 3D modeling server that I recommend. It's free, it's open source, and it's pretty, pretty. Uh, how to say this? Well, it's not heavy at all. The RAM and the um, mm. graphic memory that, that is required for run this server it's not too much. But this is a well. Okay. Now back to the to, to the modeling. This is not a text. This is just uh, okay. This is a text, but it's but in like in AutoCAD, we need to create a region to make this an object. This is only text, and we <coughs> can't create an okay. We can make uh, we can make a modifier uh, modifiers this is like the options to edit two different kind of objects to this because to make a modifier we need to e we need an object but this is a text so we need to create this an object first of all this is the text options. We have render, preview, resolutions, both field, offset. This is the coolest. In the geometry section, we have we can create offsets. So the text 
is going to change. I'm going to use uh, 0.4 up to, and this is the other coolness. Personally, I'm going to recommend to work like this. First of all, uh, extrude and create all the tests with the test sections, and then make a convert to a mesh. Because if you do, if you do like, uh, I'm going to. Uh, create a box and then I'm going to edit and it's true and create it's true faces and faces and faces to make it look like a, a word it's going to be uh, a lot of work so I think this is the most easiest way to do it with this I just need to Let's do a few things. Yeah, like that. Okay. Ah, sorry. Then. Yeah, like, like that. Um, I can change the type of font here. Uh, italic, ball italic, and we just need to go to select this in Rebola or every font do you want to save. Then we are going to go to C and Windows. You know where the uh, fonts are in your laptop. Um, for me, it's fonts in the window in the Windows. Uh, and then I just need to well select the type of phone I want. Uh, I want to work with this. Yeah. Let's scale it. I'm going to make this. Okay. And now we have like it looked like a 3D object because now we have a it has deepness, extrusion, but it still is it still is a text so I'm going to push Alt, the keyboard Alt and C, and create mesh from curve because this is a curve. Now it's a mesh, and I'm, and now I can apply a modifier, and this is the modifier to to subtract, to solidify, and to unify, uh, intersect. To uh, intersections for intersection for union and subtractions. Different is a subtraction. For now, I'm going to show you intersect, uh, uh, union, and difference. Difference and select text. We are going to use apply, and it looked like oh, but it didn't it didn't happen anything. Now, yeah, we need to move this object and this is the final result. Okay, now I'm going to use union text. You look, see the color change, and there is our cube. And now, do you see? You just need to select this right file export STL box 2 and in Cura we just need to load box 2 it's pretty small but personally I'm, I like to scale it with Cura because I think I have more control of my 3D object yeah, I like that. And there is, there is our box with our welcome. And if we use another type of modifier like mirror, we can put welcome here and here and here and in the other faces. Okay, 